Powder landings. Landing in powder is actually much harder than landing on park jumps, but it feels rad when you stomp and it's pretty soft which provides a forgiving way to try new tricks. While in the air, your position should be exactly the same as hitting a park jump. Then just as you land, push the board forward under you so that all your weight is over the back foot. The impact of landing pushes your board onto the snow, slowing it down, but your body's momentum continues to travel forward. If you let your weight go too far forward, then you'll probably ragdoll, which means to be flipped head first into the snow. When you ragdoll, your goggles often come flying off your head or helmet. If they do come off, they're going to be filled with snow and will probably end up wet and foggy for the rest of the day. So keep your goggle strap tighter than normal. When spinning into power, it's important to stomp with your board straight. Even a subtle angle can send you into a violent ragdoll down the landing. Think of how you want to land throughout the whole spin. You definitely got to have your trick on lock in the park before you take it to the backcountry. If you see riders who have just spent a bunch of time building a jump, don't hit it or ride through the landing. It's rude and will piss them off. The landings don't last very long. The difficulty of landing and riding out on powder is something a lot of us don't understand because not too many of us get the chance to ride or build jumps into it. The skill is perfected with years of experience. It separates the good riders from the best. Stomping into freshies is about the best feeling you can get. So get out there and send it.